what kind of technology is good enough? Is it a 2x2 two two MIMO, 3x3 three three MIMO, or 4x4 four four MIMO? And uh, how the cost plays some sort of a role in uh, selecting that, uh, uh, that uh, technology. I guess 2x2, two two, uh, without going through too much detail, is just not good enough because there's not enough reliability associated with it. Uh, the way we measure reliability for watching video is when you're watching uh, constant uh, TV for eight hours and you don't see any glitch, that's a good measure of reliability. And if you translate that into some sort of a technical equation, you get to about a packet loss, uh, watching TV for, uh, without having a packet loss over an eight hour period. And that, that translates to some, something in the order of 0.001%. Uh, packet loss or packet error rate. Uh, that's the kind of reliability we need for watching uh, high def video. Now, uh, both 3x3 three three and 4x4 four four technologies uh, are capable of delivering that kind of packet error rate. So I guess the question is how much bandwidth do we need for any given home now and maybe in the future? Uh, if you look at the history of compression technology and, and the frame rate and the compression level, uh, it started a few years back at you know, 8 megabit to 12, 15 megabit per second, and we were looking at that 1080i 30 or 60 at that point. Nowadays, 1080p 60 uh, technology is uh, commonplace, and people are looking at 120 and 240 uh, kind of date, uh, frame rate. And uh, 3D TVs, uh, you know, we are seeing already t 3D TVs inside uh, places like you know, fries or Best Buy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but um, that entails that you need a lot more compression uh, bandwidth uh, to deliver those kind of high quality video for bigger and bigger flat panels. It means that you might be looking at 30 to 40 megabit per second kind of uh, data rate inside uh, over the air to get to, the, to your TV so that you, know, you can watch a high quality video. Um, based on those numbers and how many uh, TVs you'll have and also whether you're going to play uh, video games uh, that even require higher bandwidth, maybe 50 to 60 megabit per second because of low latency requirements, uh, then um, for a bandwidth, total bandwidth inside home, you require in the order of 120 megabits per second of highly reliable video, the one, the type of packet error rate we talked about earlier. like. 0.001%. Uh, that's the kind of thing you need uh, for watching video. I guess a, a legitimate question is that, okay, what is the cost difference between 3x3 three three and 4x4 four four and uh, would the consumer be able to or would pay for the extra dollars that may go with 4x4 four four, uh, MIMO as opposed to a 3x3? Three three? And that's a fair question. Uh, fundamentally, over time, silicon technology and anything that goes around the 4x4 four four versus the 3x3 three three, uh, would force the cost compression between the two. So ultimately, for a person who, uh, who is seeing, who is buying a TV, may not know the difference. But uh, fundamentally, the cost difference over time should be below a dollar. When we had a 2011 B, and when G came along, the transition happened in the three to four years uh, that the majority of uh, systems were, uh, went from B to G, and when. N came along, uh, again, the majority is switched in a three to four years time frame to N from G. And we see that that gravitation to go to a better technology uh, happens in three to four years time. Majority of devices shipped switch to the newer technology. So we, we see that trend over and over and over again, and we, we expect the same thing to happen here also in a four by four system over a three by three system. We can conclude the following. In order to have a high reliability uh, video, we are looking at the packet error rate uh, parameter, which is 10 to the minus 5, or 0.01%. Then we, we also looked at what is the total bandwidth required inside home, and we, we said that 120 megabit uh, per second is really a kind of minimum of what's needed uh, for, for uh, now and the next three to five years. And then we said that this technology, whatever it is, it has to cover a lot of homes, 95% or more, so that this technology, when it's rolled out, it goes to everyone. So ultimately, um, uh, based on all the analysis we've done and shared with you, uh, IEEE 2011 and 4x4 MIMO plus adaptive and dynamic beamforming 
uh, fits the bill. And uh, uh, that's all you really need to, to figure out your HD video.